Welcome to the HICOA Transfer Valve Repair Video, a supplement to the instruction manual received with every valve and part of the Clark Reliance Instructional Video Library. This video will outline disassembly, replacement of soft parts, and reassembly of a HICOA transfer valve. Our customers can find shoe and soft parts kit replacement parts and all other valve information on the HICOA nameplate tag. Begin by loosening the T-handle and moving the ball handle to the neutral position. This breaks the shoe assembly seal. Next, remove the cap screws from the bottom of the assembly. Be sure to always break the shoe seal before removing the cap screws to ensure proper removal of the stack assembly. Carefully, remove the stack assembly from the valve body and place into a stable work position. Remove the shoe assembly and place the stack assembly onto a stable work surface. To be sure that the ball handle roll pin is facing up, lay the stack down so that the ball handle is pointing away from you. To remove the ball handle, use a punch to knock out the roll pin. After the ball handle is removed, also use a punch to knock out the upper sleeve roll pin. Now you are able to disassemble the stack assembly. Slide the bonnet assembly off. Remove the seal retainer, pull out the link and slide, slide the upper sleeve assembly off, and remove the separator plate. The next step is to replace all the seals in the transfer valve. Remove both the O-ring from the outside of the bonnet and lip seal from the inside. Also remove all lip seals and seal retainers from the separator plate. These seals, along with replacement roll pins, are included in the soft parts kit. Begin reassembly by sliding the separator plate back onto the control rod and preparing your replacement seals. To ensure proper reassembly, be sure to grease all seals before they are put into place. Slide the slip seal onto the control rod and push it into the recess of the separator plate. The O-ring side of the lip seal should be facing up in order to contact the seal retainer, which is put right on top of the lip seal. Grease replacement O-ring and place in the groove on the bonnet. Next, slide the upper sleeve assembly back into place. The top side of the sleeve is marked. Make sure to align the sleeve stub tube with the control rod so the link, slide, and roll pin assembly will fit properly. Insert the link and slide into the sleeve. The radius side of the link must be facing the bonnet. Now insert the roll pin and sleeve assembly is complete. The next step is to finish replacing the seals. Slide the seal retainer on top of the sleeve assembly, followed by a greased lip seal with the O-ring side facing down to contact the seal retainer. Also, grease the large lip seal and place on the separator plate with the O-ring side up. Now, place the bonnet onto the control rod and manipulate the control rod so the roll pin hole that mounts the ball handle is visible. Place the ball handle in the bonnet and secure with roll pin. Next, you must tighten the T-handle all the way in order to extend the slides from the sleeve assembly. The slides are extended because the shoes have to be screwed on all the way to the slide before being backed out to make a seal. Please consult your construction manual or ClarkReliance.com to find the correct number of turns required for your valve. At this point, 
It is a good idea to measure the distance from the control rod to both sides to make sure that they are the same distance from the sleeve. Also, check the inside of the valve body for unusual wear or defects. Now, loosen the T-handle to retract the shoes and lower the stack back into the valve body. The bonnet set pin must be aligned to the corresponding hole on the body. The last step is to replace and tighten the cap screws and seal the shoes.